guys, it's May here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Cooking 101. For today's dish, we're going to make some vegetables. Since coronavirus is spread all over the world now, we have to boost our immune system. And the vegetables that I'm going to cook for today are, are one of the best um, vegetables to um, boost our immune systems. I'm going to show you guys step by step on how I'm going to cook these veggies. Um, but before we start our cooking 101, guys, I have another channel. It's Chica Corner with me. If you haven't subscribed on that channel yet, please, please do subscribe. I, I try to make my videos interesting on that channel because it's way different from cooking 101. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please, please do subscribe. I, I will really appreciate it. So anyhow, let's go and start our cooking 101. For those of you who are teenagers and following my channel, um, Princess May's Kitchen, thank you guys so much. And if you would like to learn more other stuff, I have my other channel. It's Chica Corner with May. So anyhow, let's start our cooking 101. Okay, friends, these are my ingredients for our dish for today. So let's start over here. I have some Japanese eggplant. These are the long eggplants. So I use two pieces of that. And I use four pieces of the bitter melons, or we call this in my language, ampalaya. One tablespoon of the nor chicken seasoning mix. I use five cloves of garlic, chopped, guys garlic is one of the best ingredients that you guys can use for cooking that will help to boost your immune system over here i also have some bell peppers i use one big red bell peppers of course i have my scallions i have my um tomatoes and over here, I have five pieces of eggs. We're also going to use some cooking oil on this dish. And you guys can use any kind of cooking oil that is available in your household. Today, I'm using the 100% pure canola oil. And for this dish, we're also going to use some salt and pepper. So let's start our cooking 101. So friends, we're going to add three to four tablespoons of the cooking oil. Here you go. To know if your cooking oil is ready, all you have to do is dunk your wooden spoon in the middle or your chopstick. And if you guys see it bubbling underneath, so that means your oil is ready. So let's start. First, I'm going to saute the garlic, but if you guys want to saute the onions first, it's also okay. We're just going to wait for the garlic to turn into kind of like a golden color. Next, our tomatoes. Scallions, green onions. As you guys can see, I didn't use the regular onions because I have my scallions but if you don't have any scallions and you have the onions then just do it but I prefer to use the scallions for this dish because it gives or it brings more flavor next our bell peppers So we're going to let this one simmer for about a minute or so before we saute our eggplant and our bitter melon. So let's cover this one up and we wait. See guys over here I have one huge bag of onions but I just decided not to use them because I have my scallions. Okay friends, after 5 minutes, let's check our first ingredients. Mm. 
very nice guys and smells so good next we're going to saute our eggplant The reason why I saute the eggplant first before the bitter melon because the eggplant it takes a long time to cook compared to bitter melons and with the bitter melons guys we don't want to overcook it it's nice to eat the bitter melons while it's a little bit crispy that's why I'm sauteing the eggplant first So I'm going to cover this guys back again and we're going to let this one simmer for another five minutes. Let's check our eggplant one more time. Mm, guys, smells so good. Mix. Next, we're going to season this. One tablespoon of the chicken noir seasoning mix. Some black pepper. Don't be stingy guys to use the black pepper, especially the fresh grind, because it's good for your heart. I read about it so and we're going to put the salt later on since we added the north chicken seasoning mix sometimes they get too salty and next we're going to crack our five eggs okay let's crack our eggs so we'll just put this one in the middle So, five eggs. We're not going to mix it right now. We're just going to let this egg sit for at least five minutes, okay? Let's cover this one back. Okay, friends, after five minutes, let's check our dish. Mm. Now... We're going to mix it. And then we're going to add our bitter melons. So the egg is not cooked yet that's okay because we still have time to cook them with our bitter melons this is one of my favorite food guys to eat I know for some they don't like bitter melons because they're so bitter but it's good for your health the more you eat it the more you get used to it so we're going to cover this for another five minutes you guys okay Okay, friends, after five minutes, let's check our food. Our egg is slowly to cook. I lower the temperature of the stove to medium because we don't want to burn our food, you guys. Okay, friends, this is our finished product. This is our ginisang talong at Ampalaya na may itlog. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed on my channel, guys, please don't forget to subscribe. 
And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, Chica Corner with me. It's totally different from this channel, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day, everyone, wherever you are in the world. And may the good Lord bless us all. Thank you guys for watching.